May 1969. Apollo 10's eight-day mission to the moon captivates an entire planet. Apollo 10 is, is going to be a full-up dress rehearsal for the landing um, that's going to be occurring on Apollo 11, but they're not going to actually land. They're only going to go down within about eight miles of the surface. After separating from the mothership, the lunar module orbits eight miles above the moon's surface, precisely mapping a landing area for the next Apollo mission. As they're approaching the lunar surface, the, one of the things that they have to do is, is get a lock, because without knowing your exact altitude, uh, you could run into problems. But the command module's transponder fails, leaving the mission in jeopardy and the lunar module hanging helplessly in space. Without a lock, it won't be able to dock back with the command module. They try a manual override, that doesn't work, and they repeatedly try, and it is not operating. So uh, finally, they're essentially on their last chance. Men at the consoles in Mission Control and the folks in the back room are now frantically trying to figure out what they might be able to do. Lunar module pilot Eugene Cernan catches the unfolding drama on camera. As his craft drifts above the command module, Cernan's camera captures something below him. What looks like another spacecraft. NASA has a code for something like these. They call them moon pigeons. This is part of the imagery that led NASA to commission this study of what they call moon pigeons, things seen out the window. It seems weird that NASA calls these things moon pigeons. That's a weird title. We know there aren't pigeons flying out in deep space. As quickly as the moon pigeon appeared, it disappears. And within moments, the situation on board the lunar module improves. They flip the toggle switch one last time, and the radar system starts operating. They start getting the data, they confirm this with mission control, and they get the authorization to make the approach to the lunar surface. The mission finishes without any additional drama. But when Cernan's film reaches the public, some see the moon pigeon's sudden appearance as more than coincidence. I believe we're being warned off. Stay away and don't come back. Some speculate that an advanced intelligence could be jamming Apollo systems. Others believe friendly aliens are somehow fixing the transponder. I think the extraterrestrials would be quite concerned about us. Rule number one for any advanced civilization is keep tabs on the primitives in the neighborhood. 